cool hand podcast something you got to deal with back with another quick one i have something i want to share with everybody i used to do this thing called merch monday i guess i still do it but i haven't done it in a long time but the whole concept of the whole merch monday thing was me being a podcast that focuses on creative things and creative people and especially musicians and i i love to listen to music and things like that I would talk about some of the merch that I got back when I, pre-COVID, when I would go to concerts, meet some of the artists, so on and so forth, and naturally buy merch. So that was something that I would do, whether it was t-shirts, records, woot woot, you know, all that, all that tasty stuff. But I wanna kinda institute that in this video, a little, little quick one for you. But recently, my, my home girl, Faye Webster, we're not friends, but you know how you know how people associate themselves with artists that they like so they say oh that's my guy that's my girl my home girl faye webster she dropped an album called i know i'm funny ha ha i liked it enough to want to buy it i support it you know what matter of fact i made a video on as a merch monday that i i bought one of her records in the past and she belongs to this record label called secretly canadian and i'm saying that because I have to call Secretly Canadian out. Y'all sent me a scratched record. I'm just gonna throw that out there. If anybody from Secretly Canadian sees this, I would like another one. But that record was called Atlanta Millionaires Club and it was scratched. So I can't really enjoy it all the way that I want, the way that I want to. So, <laughs> like I paid my hard earned money for that, so. Anyway, this I Know I'm Funny Ha Ha record, I like it. I like it a lot, and that's the whole reason why I bought it. But I was on Amazon, right? I was comparing prices because I'm not rich. So I looked on the Secretly Canadian website for the record, and then I compared it to Amazon. And Amazon was selling it for, like, the same price at, that I can get a bundle for. So what did I do? I bought the bundle merch pack. And that's what I want to share with everybody today, just uh, what we're what we're dealing with with this merch pack. And it's not a review, but I do want to bring out one song that really opened up my horizons to a different type of music and something that I can definitely appreciate about this record. So now I'm going to put a picture up of this, but here's the record. Faye Webster, I know I'm funny. Ha ha. It's a limited edition opaque blue vinyl. Now, I am not taking this out of the wrap yet because I don't want to. I kind of see it as like a prized possession, kind of like a collector's item, and I don't even want to open it. Call me, call me weird or whatever, but it's a limited edition, and that's another reason why I got the, the bundle. So it's an opaque blue vinyl. I wouldn't know because I haven't opened it, but it, it's just nice artwork. It has these like these fake these fake stickers on it, which is going to be on the rest of the rest of the merch that I have here, which is pretty cool. I love the aesthetic of the album cover, just how like something so simple. You have a simple, pretty much like an upper body face shot. She's wearing solid colors. It's not overcomplicated and it doesn't take away from the stickers that she has or the, the, the pseudo stickers that she has on the album cover the ha ha stickers so i really love albums like this like you think about somebody like most deaf black on both sides it was just his face on there you think about that new snow allegra album it's just her face with like some weird looking like you know photoshop thing on it to make her eyes you know what i'm talking about but anyway that I really appreciate that and then on the back of it it has her like picking these stickers off so I guess in a sense you can say like she she picked the stickers off from the back and put them on the front I don't know I'm getting creative but of course it has the track list here and so on and so forth so that's that's the record and we'll come back to that because I want to talk about my song the next item that we have here in this bundle merch pack is a mirror now i'm not going to do anything with this mirror and once again it's like a collector's item it's a, it's a prized possession right so i'm going to hold this up to the camera we're going to let the camera do its thing hopefully it focuses don't embarrass me 
and it says Faye Webster on it. Now, when you open this thing up, it has a fake sticker and it says, I know I'm funny, ha ha, on the inside. So, like when you're looking in this, in this mirror, you're looking at your face and you have this sticker right in the middle of it telling you that you're funny, I guess, ha ha. And I think it's pretty cool, not gonna use it. It's that same kind of royal or, or galaxy blue color that we have, which is pretty much the theme of, or a part of this theme of the album and album artwork. Uh, pretty, it's cute, you know, it's a cute, it's a cute piece of, of merchandise. And let's just move on to the last item. Last, but certainly not least, is this stylish accessory tote bag. And it says on the back, very appropriately, I know I'm funny, ha ha. Faye Webster on it, and it has these fake, these fake ha ha stickers on it, once again. So the merch really stayed consistent with the, the theme of the album. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wear this in real life, but you could sport this. You know, actually, I look kind of good with this thing on. You could sport this over the shoulder. I like to go to Aldi a lot. You can carry a couple groceries in it. But most importantly, this fits the record perfectly. So you can slide the record in here, do your thing. Woo, woo, woo. You can throw your mirror in here if you ever if you ever want to look at yourself and you could just put it all in this tote bag. I like this stuff. Now am I gonna, is it utilitarian? I, I guess, but for me it's more of, more of, more of a, a keepsake. I'll pass this on to my, to my children and they'll look at me like I'm stupid. Just real quick about the, the record itself. I really like this record. There's just a few songs that I just wanted to say that were my favorite, Better Distractions in a good way, in a good way is a great, great song. I love that song so much. We have Both All The Time, we have Overslept, which is the song that I wanna bring up. And Kind Of, Kind Of is also like so cool. I like the way she uses her voice. I like, listen to the song Kind Of. I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but Overslept, this features someone who goes by my Ihara. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it sounds like this person, my Ihara, is someone of Asian descent coming from the continent of Asia. And she speaks in an Asian dialect on this song. Now this song, Overslept, is kind of like a lullaby ballad, if that makes sense to anybody out there. A lullaby ballad. I love how calm and soothing the song is. And it's so short, it's so simple, it's so sweet. You have Faye Webster on the first verse, right? In her, in her little nice voice. And then you hear this Maya Hara person and she's speaking this beautiful Asian language, this dialect, whatever. I don't know what language she's speaking and she could be saying anything on this song. But the thing is, she sounds good while she's saying it. I kid you not. And I'm secure in my masculinity to say this. I like partially teared up listening to her verse. Facts. I partially teared up listening to this verse. I, I, I don't know what she's saying. You can go on Apple Music and you look at the lyrics, it's in a different language. I love that they did that. I absolutely love that they did that. Whoever submitted the lyrics, you know, whoever are part of the label, you know, these people are part of record labels. They, whoever sent this stuff into whoever takes care of this stuff at Apple or Spotify, whoever. I love that it was in the language that my or me, my Ahara speaks. And she sounds amazing. Hearing music in a different language in this song in particular really just touched my heart because I think the main thing that like really hit me was, and I felt this in the past that Music is just a universal language. I have no idea what she is saying in her verse, but the way that she has to use her tongue, right? You have to use your tongue to speak different languages, very naturally. The way that things came out of her mouth, it just sounded so beautiful and it just, it just hit me. It just hit me right in the thoracic cavity. So 
that's just something that I wanted to bring out about this record. And this video is over. Cool Hand Podcast, something you got to deal with. Easy.